Hello and thank you for tuning in. Here's another video about our Raspberry Pico, Raspberry Pico W. And today we're gonna to be talking about finite state machines. So here's our code and essentially what a finite state machine is, is it's gonna switch between two different states and finite means that it's limited. So there's a certain number of states it's got available. And it's going to know what state it's on, and it's going to switch between states. So, this is just a diagram writing down kind of how it works. So, one of the states is on for the LED, and one of the states is off. So, every seven seconds, it is going to switch states, um, thus creating the finite state machine. So, here is our breadboard, and here's all the pins hooked up. So, it's actually a very simple simple configuration that we've got going on it's literally just straight into the LEDs so how it's gonna work is electrical signal is gonna come from the circuit board into this resistor the resistor is gonna block it so it doesn't go full force and break the LED because too much electricity will break it it's gonna resist some it's gonna send just the right amount then the LED is gonna get the electricity into it it's gonna turn on and then the electricity is going to come back into here and dissipate into ground. So here's our code representing every seven seconds. It's going to um, set the state and change the state, as you can see. So let's run the code and see what happens. Okay, so we've got three different LEDs and they're all blinking at different rates. So that proves that it's working and it is switching between states all at different rates just like the code tells it to do.